Hey there kids, welcome to another math video for Eureka Math Grade 5, Module 6. This is for Lesson 14 homework. And the objective here is to construct parallel line segments and analyze relationships of the coordinate pairs. And so learning about what the rule is and making um, different lines on your graph and seeing how they compare and contrast with each other. So, first thing you want to do, take a look at your um, x and y axes, see what they're counting by. If you need to add in a number or two, just to help uh, find different points on your graph, that is always something I like to do. Um, and as always, your homework should be already finished, and this is just you checking to make sure you did everything correctly. So uh, for part A, identify the locations of M and N. Remember that the X coordinate always comes first, followed by Y. So I like to say this is the address of X is along this uh, axis here, and then the address of Y is along this axis. So for point M, you're going to look down for X first. That gives you six and then go over here for y, which gives you four. For n, you're gonna do the same thing. First, go down to see what the value is of the x-coordinate, and then go over to the y-axis to find the value. So draw line mn is what that symbol means when it has the line and the arrows on both. Um, and if you look and set down your straight edge, you kind of see you can adjust it just a wee bit so that you're hitting those intersecting corners. Not every single one. Notice that these um, spaces in between the points are not crossing at an intersection. But if you go like, say, one, two, three, one, two, so one, two, three, one, two, that's where that exact point should cross. And so that will help you make a straight line so you can kind of extend it. I don't know, I'm really into details and making it precise, but you know, kids, they're 10 and 11, they're just like, ah, whatever, close enough. So uh, there's your line MN. And then plot the following coordinate pairs on the plane. So this is always fun, just remember X is first. So for point J, it's going to be 5 for X and then 7 for Y. So you're going to go up from here past the 6 to 7. And don't forget to put the letter. Um, if they put them to the lower left, I usually put them to the lower left. If they put them on the lower right, uh, I do that too. It's kind of like they anticipate where you're going to be drawing your line. So kind of follow that model. Yeah, for point K, we've got 8, 5. So here's your 8. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is another way to go up and count. Always double check and make sure that that's the actual point did it, draw line JK. And again, you really want to have uh, precision here. I'm looking at where my uh, lines, <clears throat> sorry, I feel like I need water, where my lines are going to go through those intersections. Line JK. <clears throat> Circle the relationship between line MN and JK. So this little symbol here means is perpendicular to. And so if I grab another ruler, a small one, is perpendicular to, as it indicates in the picture, would create a right angle. Blah, too much, too much stuff. There we go, now you can kind of see. Is perpendicular to is gonna create the right angles, okay? Versus this symbol here, which means is parallel to, which means it's like a pair of L's. They go the same direction. So if you turn your rulers, you can see this is a parallel relationship. So circle that. Give the coordinates of a pair of points, uh, these two points F and G, such that line FG is parallel to line MN. So we're going to look at the relationship of the numbers in our points and you can put any points you want you don't have to have what I have but what you want to have is something that is parallel to both of these lines so uh, 
let's take a couple of points on the graph. If I was to look at n and I just go down, say, two, two points, two intersections, one, two. From m, I would also go down the same number of intersections because in order for it to be parallel, it has to have matching like math. The numbers have to calculate correctly. So um, give your values. Now your points don't have to be here. They could be over here. They could be anywhere else on the graph as long as your line is parallel to line MN. They could even be above it if you choose that. That's totally fine. I just, I just put a couple points here because that's really easy. So if I was to label these uh, F and G, then for point F, I would say a 6, 2. That's for mine. And for G, I would have 3, 4. And then I uh, will draw the line. And we want it to be parallel. So again, every like third intersection, it's going to go through exactly in the corners. Okay, so that's what roughly your graph should look like. These two can't be moved, but your line for points FG, this could be anywhere, but it'll be parallel to the other lines wherever yours is on the graph. And if you did that, then you are a rock star and everything is perfect. Okay, and then for the back here, we've got use the coordinate plane below to complete the following tasks. Identify the locations of points A and B. They're giving you the point. You just need to come up with the values. First of all, look at the X and Y axes and see what we're counting by. It's not one anymore. It's a half. So since our points are way out here, you might want to label these. Oh, look, they're already labeled. You might want to label these. So counting by halves again up on the side, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, this will be three and a half. If you label that, then it's ready to go. Identify the locations now for A. We're going to go down first because X is the first value. And so that's going to be a value of four. And then go left so that you can see where it crosses. And you have your three and a half. Then for point B, same thing. Down first to get the X value, which is two. And then left to get the Y value, which is three. And that's a fun looking three. Draw line AB. Too many things here. Draw line AB going like we did last time. If it's like one, two, three, or four intersections over one down, then all the intersecting lines are going to be like that. Okay? One, two, three, four, and down. So over four, down one. Over four, down one. Over four, down one. Or from the point up and over four. And there's your line AB. That's connecting with uh, lesson 13, where they didn't give us the graph. Okay, done and done. Generate coordinate pairs for points C and D such that line AB is parallel to, that's the symbol for parallel, to line CD. You can choose to put your points anywhere you want. I'm going to come straight down from uh, points A and B. It just seems like it would be easier for you, so I want you to see. Let's say I take two intersections down, and since the letter is to the lower right, I'm going to give that point C. Same thing over here from B, one, two. You can have your line anywhere, and it can be above or below, and um, just make sure that your ordered pair reflects your work and not mine. My C is at four, two and a half. And my D is at two, two. Draw a line CD. Hopefully you have yours all drawn. And again, using that same strategy of up and over, over and down, making our parallel lines. And be precise if you can. Explain the pattern you used when generating coordinate pairs for C and D. 
So the pattern is basically I am using the grid to count the same number away from any point on this line. Now I'm not gonna use this point on this line because it's not at an intersection, so it's not as easily able to be calculated. So I'm gonna go to an intersection and I'm going to step away from there two or some exact number of intersecting uh, lines. So one, two spaces away, so one, two. So if you need to explain the pattern, you can write it in a short statement like this. I use the graph and moved two, two points down to draw each of two new points. Okay, and then you can barely see that, so there you go, that's better. I used the graph and I moved two points down to draw each of two new points. So one, two, one, two, and you could use the word intersection in your explanation and that would also be great. So give the coordinates of a point F such that line AB that we already have, is parallel to line EF, which again, you can have your points anywhere except that we have two and a half, two and a half given. So two and a half, two and a half, has one of the points. So I could have it anywhere along a parallel line in between as long as it goes through here. So how will I find a place to put the point where it will be through this point and also parallel? So notice the connection between either line AB or line CD. If I'm at line CD, I could go up one over one. There's my point. Here's my point for C, up one over one. If I plot that point, I now have two points on a line. Remember to make a line, you only need two points. So I'm using the strategy of the up and over. It's kind of what we did on lesson 13 when I was saying, hey, if there was a graph here, we're gonna use the graph and count our way. So um, our, our um, this is already given, that's point E. And we created point F, or I created this one. You don't have to, you could have a different uh, place on the line, but it wouldn't be out here, that's too far. Uh, you could have one here, that would also work for you. Um, so mine is at four and a half, three. And then how I chose the coordinates for F, sorry, I'm moving it up there, sorry about that. Uh, how I how I chose it, I use the graph, click subscribe, come back again, I use the graph, uh, up one and over one, over one, to find another point on that line. Okay, so I used the two and a half, two and a half as my, as my model. Okay, so I used the up and over, up and over, and then I would connect this, this is gonna be F, and then if I connect those two points, you can see can see how crooked it is when I'm trying to draw this. There we go. There we go. So now we have our line and you should have three lines uh, that are all parallel. So I hope this video was helpful and come back again for another math video. Goodbye for now.